Now back to more of Matt Fox's Game Room. We're grown men and we're a few beers in. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so now we are at, we already looked a little bit at the 32X stuff, but tell us more about what else you got. Okay, so we have Sega CD, Sega 32X, Sega Dreamcast, and Sega Genesis starting. So, so needless to say, this is the Sega section. Yes, yes. straight Sega. The Sega CD, this is probably maybe half, three quarters of the collection, I'm guessing. It wasn't a huge collection. Um, some hidden gems, RPGs, it, it got in the uh, the CD game like the Turbo Graphics did as well. Had a bit better run in it, but not a great run either. It was kind of ahead of its time, like the final, was it Final Fight? Fatal Fury? Uh, final Fight CD was the, one, one of the better versions of it was like Final Fight on there. Arcade kind Although of it's very cheesy voice acting, oh. but still hilarious though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, pull, up, pull up some stuff. But uh, pull up some stuff. Sega CD, that's where Working Designs started doing a lot of their stuff. That yeah, game is there. It's the uh, Heart the of the Alien. Oh yeah, out of this world, parts yeah. one and two. Yeah, that was a really good version of it too. Dragons Lair. Uh, Dragons Lair. And these this cases thing. are like, they're cool. Even these though, like, cases are very hard to maintain. Yeah, very like the fact that, that like, look, this is great condition, man. Yeah, these are great. What? Well, here's the truth. Let me have a look at that uh, Doom. Yeah, my friend and I bought uh, a bunch of career crises and hexens. <laughs> uh, Mark from uh, the store. Say hello, Mark. Hey. <laughs> and we just uh, here's, here's, here's basically cannibalize them. Yeah. Well, that's what you have to do with these cases because nobody reproduces these cases. Nope. You can't buy them. Yeah. You have to hey. find another game. People another that know how to reproduce game. stuff. Hey, come on. If there's people who are reproducing the foams for these cases, like. Oh, there's this. Yes, there are people that reproduce these foams. Why aren't you reproducing the cases? Mm -hmm. The cases are more important, uh, more uh, more important, you, not just as important as the foams. Hey, Oscar, do you know anything about this Dune game? Because I have a buddy who did a review, P2 from the Cartridge Bros. He did a review of Dune: Battle for Arrakis. What's the deal with this Dune game? That, I don't know. Battle for Arrakis was the Genesis title, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was originally a PC port. This looks like. I don't know what this looks like. Oh. I'm familiar with the David Lynch film and the book mm -hmm. and the actual made for TV movie. P2, get a Sega CD and get Dune for Sega CD. An ode CD. to the new Twin Peaks. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. After yeah. 30 something years. My favorite game, of course, is Cardboard. It's Prince of Persia. It's probably one of my favorite actual Is it the uh, one of two that you have there of Cardboard? There's a Wonder Dog or something like that. It's also a card. Yes. Uh, oh, I'll show that off. The cardboard there. And yeah, you, you don't have Prince of Persia see. for Sega CD. Wow. It's a good game, but it's not that expensive either. No, I guess I haven't run into it. Well, I but it's a cardboard case or something. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cardboard, cardboard case. That is the answer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 32X yeah, complete. Uh, manuals, the cardboard. Yeah, complete and box. Yeah, complete. So you get a of fire that's rare in your, your sports games. And down we go to the Sega Dreamcast. That's complete. 100%. Every game that was ever released, here it is. Wow. Only one cardboard, cardboard game, which was Seaman. <laughs> Seaman. Um, uh, Here, let's pull Seaman out. I want to see some Seaman. Yes, a lot of people speak very highly of this. Get on your dress. <laughs> uh, that one actually use the microphone. We yeah. Actually, talk to your little fish thing. Does this? Did this one come with the microphone? And I believe. Oh, wow, Alien Front Online sealed. Are these the yeah. only two cardboard ones? Yes, I believe. Yep. Yep. Ooh, this is sealed. Yeah. Cracker? Open? Alien Front. <laughs> oh, crack. Yeah, let's just let's just open it up. It's an <laughs> unboxing video now. <laughs> and what's wow. this? And oddly enough, it says, give the gift of music. Give the gift of music right instead here. of games. How's the music at Alien Front Online? Is it any good? I have no idea. Well, it's it's an online game great. mostly, so there's no servers okay. or anything. Matt says it's great. If it's not great, then crucify him. Um, what's the other one? Oh, Sword of the Berserker. Um, Sword of the Berserker is a good beat em up. But where's the one I was talking about? If you had to pick out one, if you had to pick out one Dreamcast game that a Dreamcast collector would like jizz in their pants for, what would it be? Well, this. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. What's this? Mars Matrix. I'm looking Mars for this. I, Matrix. I am looking for this myself. It's a bullet hell shooter made by Capcom. Apparently, it's getting really hard to find for the U.S. version. This version right here, but it's a great bullet hell shooter. I played it myself. Matt's got it in great pristine condition here. But, the bastard. <laughs> but this is an awesome bloody game. If you haven't played it yet, and 
Even if you're not a shooter fan, try it. You're gonna love it. And here's Sword of the Berserk. Guts Rage? What does that say? Guts Rage? So yeah, Mike from the Retro Lectors, eat your heart out, buddy. Now we continue on to Sega Genesis, which everyone Sega knows about. Sega Genesis. Every game is going for complete on. Oh, you pulled out you pulled out some of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, he was a butthead. Uh, 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 no. No. So. This here collection, if you're gonna go complete, yeah, the problem with I am Cornelio. I need TV for my bongo. <laughs> if you go complete with the uh, Genesis, the problem is space. And we're gonna move yes. over to the next cabinet. And see show what you he why. means by space. <coughs> okay, so we we moved over here. We're over yeah. to the Genesis. And what's the first thing you can tell us that's different from this, Matt? Well, what about it? What about it? If you notice, you don't see the spines. Yeah, the beautiful Genesis spines. Space, space folks. Space, we got, oh, is, when you got as many games as Matt has, it's all about space. And I, I'm amazed yes. that you have this set up the way you do. Like, this is what I want in my house. Like anything, like like we're saying, if we're going to do a, a collection, you'd have to have L pattern and then an aisle down the side with both sides open. Yeah do everything and that's just Genesis would probably take up at least a third at least a third of uh, real estate you'd have in your house for yeah. going down the middle yeah so you know you better have a cool wife or life partner or whatever it is you do you better have someone in your life who's cool with you collecting which you know I think we're pretty lucky with that you oh, got a wife right, yeah. that yeah. obviously is cool with it and uh, me too you know it's uh, takes up space to have a collection this big yes and and time to yeah. collect it it does take time. You just can't go willy-nilly and spending thousands of dollars on eBay. If you really want to do it and have a lot of fun doing it, go out and hunt for the stuff. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. You, you actually wind up flea market people. thing. That's how it. I met these guys. Just yeah. hunting down for games. I ran into these guys. Running into each other at places too, which yes. is hilarious. Like we're all doing the same. Yeah. He thing. snuck up on me in a shop the other day. He's like, I'm like, what the hell? And he's like, you looked like you were about to shit your pants. <laughs> and he did. It was a boo. What do you want to show off there, Genesis? Ah, uh, yes. Punisher. Yeah, I was looking for that one myself. Is this one of the super rares? It is. And the Punisher well, it's is on the rare side. It's on the rare side. Yeah. It's, uh, it's on the rare side, but it's in the more demand side, yep. really. Here's because the, the, don't you hate how the, the oh. manuals, they slide in these? Yeah. yeah. It, manuals for how the manuals were taken Manuals for Genesis, they always slide and end up getting cranked. Depending on all the, uh, the clips on the inside, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depending, if the manual is not well taken care of, it's going to do that. Yeah. But the other odd thing about the Punisher is that this was made by Capcom. It's an arcade beat-em-up. Great was ported, company. That was ported only to the Genesis. This didn't go to the, the, the Super Nintendo or any other platform. It just went to the Genesis. So that's why this is in demand. Is this is, Now, is this better than the NES? Uh, yes, totally yes, yes. Yeah. it's a completely different game. The NES one was not made yeah. by Capcom because the other thing is with this game, the second player that you get to play as is Nick Fury, not the Samuel L. Jackson Nick Fury, the original Nick Fury. And there's nothing against Samuel L. Jackson. He's a badass as Nick Fury. I'm sick of these motherfucking Nicks on this motherfucking Fury. Okay, and if Marvel's listening, have Samuel L. Jackson kick more ass as Nick Fury. He deserves it. He's an ass kicker. Yeah, it's funny though, because like uh, Punisher isn't hesitated about shooting anyone. Where's the no, he doesn't. Like, shoot him with a knee. Cat. Is is the first is the Punisher game for NES? Is that a Zapper game? It's uh, more of a. Um, I thought it was like a. It's a rail. third person. Yeah, it's a kind of a rail shooter where over the shoulder, where you're behind yeah. the Punisher controlling it. This is more of a side scrolling beat 'em up, and having you and somebody else going around kicking the crap out of somebody. I'm surprised they didn't do like a tie in with Spider Man. No, for sure, because he had them. Because they're buddies, almost. They like they do crossovers. They've crossed. They've crossed. They're Devil and Punisher and Walt the Bulb and Devil Wolverine. Well, they're all in New York, right? Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, like that's Genesis games. Like, let's pick out some more, maybe. Yeah, you don't show any off. Genesis more than I do. Yeah, but I don't know exactly what you have, and you're not showing. I can't see the spines. But Oscar. Matt yeah. goes in an alphabetical order, so you can kind of guess. Yeah. I can kind of guess. I'm curious as to if you have it or not, because I picked it up myself a while back. Tennis? No, not tennis. <laughs> Would you have Beyond Oasis? Beyond Oasis? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have the Oasis now? I have, I have a reproduction uh, case for that, and I want to see the original. El Viento. Oh, that's a weird one there. That, that's a very underrated game. El Viento. El Viento. Don't play Ernest Evans, though. Ernest Evans is bad. Yeah. El Viento. I actually have a game that you don't have. Oh, that is. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it weird when you find out you have a game that Matt doesn't have? Yeah, hey, Matt, has, Matt has all this, and I actually have something that he doesn't have. I, <laughs> so I feel a little bit special now. Have a list, take it with you, don't buy doubles, because you'll do it if you don't, and yeah. just get into the habit of marking off what you get, and pick it up if you don't have yeah. it. It doesn't matter if it's sports or whatever, you're going for a full collection. Just, yeah. It's a habit. Yeah. 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 It has a set agenda. So you can either use like digital press, or like in, in most cases, like Nintendo, <clears throat> did have an official list they put out with a PDF, and uh, Sega Dreamcast, uh, or through Sega, had one as well. So you just do A to Z, you go through, and this here is for the purpose of how it goes A to Z. But in general, on your phone, whatever you use, like I just use Notepad, and what I need um, is on the list. When, I, when I'm done getting that game, it's in my collection, I take it off, and just cross it out. That might be the best way. Everyone's different, just it'll save you a fortune. There's nothing worse you get home and you're like, crap, I pit. $50 for this complete Jetty game, and I already have it. Yeah, and so yeah. you sell to Buddy for 30 40 Sure, you can trade it later, but that's more work. So yeah, it is, exactly. It's a lot of work. And it's kind of a downer when you get home and you realize, like, damn it, like you said, I already have this. Yeah. What am I going to do? Yeah. Luckily, I'm not at that point yet where I'm buying doubles, but a couple times I'm not sure when I'm looking at stuff in a store if I have it or not. And so, like, when you get to that point, you have to have a list. And, yeah, if you have the money and the time and, and the uh, the yearn for it, go for it all, but at the same time, you should really collect, uh, logically speaking, for fun, nostalgia, all at it. Yeah, collect what's right for you. What's, yeah. What do you enjoy? What are you actually going to play? It's going to sit in the shelf, you're never going to play it. The worst part is, I'm, for what, like 10 years they collect it, and have I actually played the games? Like, yeah, I've played the same games like for the NES that I always did before, but like, what's going to be the best is like going in and playing, what's this about? Like, oh. Pac-Man 2, the new adventures. Is like, I right? actually own that. He pulled out a game. I have like very limited Genesis games. I own that. <laughs> but I'm saying that pop it in. See what it's about. Was it fun? Like you can't make nostalgia, but you you can get the idea of what was behind it and the, mm -hmm. what the processor had, what the, the system's capabilities were. But mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. So now as a collector, I'm like it's time to grow up and sit down and and or not grow up and sit down and yeah. actually play them like have fun with friends, no like that's you know? that's the beauty of becoming an adult that's self-sufficient with a job and money yep. and a disposable income is now you can get those games that you weren't able to get when you were a kid that your parents couldn't afford all these games but yeah. now you can go back and sort of relive them put yourself in that same mind space and yeah, yeah it's awesome. awesome when i was like a kid and I had nes like uh i couldn't afford my own games and more ones and, and stuff yeah. like that, that shit. but uh i had what that 10 games yeah, yeah. That's I mean, how I got a Sega Genesis. I had a paper route to get a Sega Genesis. That, that was like, I want a Sega Genesis. Can't have it. Get a job. Can't have it. Get a job. Can't have it. Get a job. Okay, so I went out, got a job, got a Sega Genesis. Yeah, I so remember. I earned it. You earned it. Like, I remember I had, I had my Super Nintendo was like the first console I owned myself. And I had like under 20 games. But they were some decent games like Turtles in Time, oh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Classic. Super Mario World. If you had Super Mario World with your Super Nintendo, you were happy. Mm -hmm. But like there's so many gems for like all these old systems and the fact that Matt has all these, I'm going to be spending a lot more time here. Absolutely, you're welcome to come on over, so much appreciated. Thanks for showing me your collection, Matt, it's awesome. Oscar. Well, I'm going to say thank you to these guys for like, letting me join in on video, because I was Oscar. just yeah, here hanging out. You're the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's Matt's collection. Weird. Easy, yeah, good. And uh, actually, I forgot to show this off. <laughs> What's dad's this? We got a manual for Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch for Sega CD. What the hell is that? Make my video. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch music video game. I bet Marky Mark's regretting that now. <laughs> I don't know. Because he's rolling in money. He's yeah. pretty, he's rolling in money. Yeah, but here's one little thing that Matt has, but he doesn't have an actual game. He's got, oh, sorry, buddy. He's got the yeah. actual instruction manual to Final Fight CD, which is the best version, besides the cheesy voice acting, of Final Fight. And if you not, you haven't heard it, listen to the soundtrack of the Sega CD version of Final Fight. Awesome soundtrack. Bar none. Actually, you have heard it. It's been playing in the background of this video the whole time. Not too shabby of a soundtrack. Awesome. All right. So in the future, we're hopefully all three of us here. Let's all get a shot here. All you right. in the middle there, buddy. 
Future in the future. This guy's collection. This guy's the man. Matt's collection here. We're planning on doing like some gameplay videos in the future, so look forward to that. We're gonna pull out some rare stuff that I don't have, so I can't do videos. Mm. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, Matt Fox and Oscar, and keep on rocking them games. I gotta masturbate now. <laughs>